Welcome to the online section of Unit 3 in the book Trends Global 10. Today we're going to learn about quantity. Now let's get started. In the very first sections of today's class, we're going to find out some and any in the given text while listening to the recording. Let's get started. Anno 2070 is a video game set in the year 2070. Many cities are now under the ocean. There aren't any countries or continents, but there are a lot of islands. Players have to build new cities. There are two main groups of characters, the Tycoons and the Echoes. As a player, you can choose to be in either group. Anno 2070 is not a combat game, but there are a few conflicts between the two groups and there are some important differences between them. The tycoons build cities quickly and earn a lot of money, but their lifestyle causes a lot of pollution and there are not many trees or plants on their islands. In contrast, the echoes build green cities, but their progress is slow. They don't use any coal or oil, so there is not much pollution on their islands. The inhabitants eat healthy food and even have a little time for some hobbies, like listening to music. The aim of the game is to create your own world. How many cities can you build? How much energy do they all need? Can you grow any food? Can you complete any special missions? It depends on how well you play the game. Did you pay attention while listening to the recording and did you find all of the examples that you are required to? Now let's move on to the next section. So as you have discovered all of the examples of sums and any in the text in exercise 2, now you have to complete the rules in the learn this book. Let's have a look together. Learn this, sum and any. We use sums and any without uncountable and plural countable nouns. We use some in affirmative sentences. And we use any in negative sentences and question. Now let's move on to some practices. In this section, you will have to complete the sentences with some or any. Let's have a look at these five sentences. You will be given 30 seconds to complete this exercise. Okay, time's up. Now let's see all of the answers to the given five sentences. One, do you have any board games we can play tonight? Two, let's invite some friends over for a game night. Three, I need to buy some playing cards. Four, are there any video game consoles available? 5. We should come up with some creative game ideas for our upcoming game development project. Did you find on the correct answer to the given sentences? Now let's uh, investigate everything together. In the very first sentence, do you have any board games we can play tonight? In this sentence, we use any because this one is a question. So according to the rule that we have learned before, um, any is you and a question. Number two, let's invite some friends over for a game night. In this sentence, we use some because friends is a countable nouns in the plural form. And this one is a statement. Therefore, we need to use the, verb, the, the word some. Number three, 
I need to buy some playing cards. In this sentence, uh, we are going to use some because the word cards is a plural noun, and this one is also a statement. Number four, are there any video game consoles available? In this sentence, we use any because this sentence is a question. And the last one, number five, we should come up with some creative game ideas for our upcoming game development project. In this sentence, we have to use some because of the word ideas. Um, the word idea is a plural noun, therefore we need to use some. One, do you have any board games? Now, we are going to listen to the text again, and at this time, you are required to look at the bold phrases and announce that follow them in a text. Pay close attention, because we are going to complete a learn this book after listening to this. Anno 2070 is a video game set in the year 2070. Many cities are now under the ocean. There aren't any countries or continents, but there are a lot of islands. Players have to build new cities. There are two main groups of characters, the Tycoons and the Echoes. As a player, you can choose to be in either group. Anno 2070 is not a combat game, but there are a few conflicts between the two groups and there are some important differences between them. The tycoons build cities quickly and earn a lot of money, but their lifestyle causes a lot of pollution, and there are not many trees or plants on their islands. In contrast, the echoes build green cities, but their progress is slow. They don't use any coal or oil, so there is not much pollution on their islands. The inhabitants eat healthy food and even have a little time for some hobbies, like listening to music. The aim of the game is to create your own world. How many cities can you build? How much energy do they all need? Can you grow any food? Can you complete any special missions? It depends on how well you play the game. So now you have finished listening to the recording and also finished investigating all of the nails and the bold phrases in the text. And Let's 2070. move on to The Linda's box. In this section, you are going to complete the rules in the Linda's box. Now let's do it together. Learn this: not much, not many, a lot of, a little, a few. A. We use not much or a little with uncountable noun for a small quantity of something. B. 
we use not many or a few with plural now for a small number of something. C. We use much and uncountable now for a large quantity of something. D. We use many and plural now for a large number of something. E. We use a lot of and uncountable or plural now for a large quantity of something. And F. We use how much and a question mark with uncountable now or how many with a question mark with plural now for questions about quantity or numbers. Now, we have finished investigating the learn this part. Now we're going to move on to practice. You're going to complete the sentences with not much, not many, a lot of, a little, and a few. So now, you will be given 30 seconds to complete this exercise. Get ready, go. Now, time's up. Let's have a look together. Number one. One, there are not many people who enjoy playing chess. Two, she has spent a lot of time practicing the piano, and her musical skills have greatly improved. Three, I only have a little knowledge of role-playing games, but I find them fascinating and want to learn more. Four, there are only a few classic board games that have stood the test of time. 5. I haven't played video games in a while, so my skills are not much to brag about. Now, let's discover each answer together. In the first sentence, there are not many people. In this sentence, we use not many because people is a plural noun. Number two, she has spent a lot of time. In this sentence, we use the phrase a lot of because time is uncountable now. Moreover, according to the meaning of this sentence, which uh, is uh, her musical skill have greatly improved, then we will have to use the phrase a lot of. Number three, I only have a little knowledge. In this sentence, we use a little because knowledge is an uncountable now and because there is the word only in front of the blank. Number four, there are only a few classic board games. In this sentence, we use a few because games is a countable noun and before the blank, we have the word only. And number five, I haven't played video games in a while, so my skill are not much. In this sentence, we use not much because we do not have any now in this sentence and because this sentence is a negative one. 1. There are not many people who enjoy... Before we end today's online section, please pay attention to the lookout. In affirmative sentences, much and many often sound very formal. In everyday English, we use a lot of. So be mindful the next time you're going to use much or many in your speaking. Thank you and see you in the next section.